this is Candy Shaw with Tips and Tricks Tuesday. So, how to convert someone from a massive foil back to the look of balayage, but still keeping them blonde. The first thing that I did for this hair was I cut it. That's the key to really having great paints, is to be able to follow the layers of the haircut that you put in. So I did a reverse exterior on the top, with the next exterior on the bottom, and cut um, the right amount off the length to identify a stronger back. So what I did was, I first, after my haircut, I toned this hair. So far too often we use toners after we actually color. And for me, it is a much more of a greater benefit for me to tone down the whiteness of this blonde and now go back in and just weave in the wonderful balayage pieces as well as my low lights. Now here's always the challenge. When you get to the top and the part line, and if Jill, you can come over and just kind of film this, this is that typical foil line that we always have when we have gone from a really, really massive foil. So if I go and try to smudge this piece of hair, or I try to put my low lights in this piece of hair, I'm gonna end up looking stripy. And so what happens with my guest is they say, oh no, you know, I don't want that dark. She's so used to seeing so much light there. So what I do is when I get to this section, my tip and trick for you is I go underneath it and right underneath where I'm gonna put all of my blonde, and this is a certainly a smaller section of hair, I know that my part line lives there. So when I come underneath here, I'm gonna take my formulation. My formulation here is an 8-0 and a 7-1, and I'm actually gonna build an anchor underneath. So I'm actually creating almost a regrowth line. So rather than having just a streak and a streak and a streak and a streak, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm placing my 8-0 and 7-1 color touch with 4%. And I'm making myself a bigger regrowth so that I'm essentially borrowing the dark from underneath rather than having a streak. So once I've actually built that in, I'm gonna take my Bali wrap, go over the top, and now I have the anchor of which to lay my blonde. As I always say in the classroom, what makes light look lighter is dark. So for me, You've got to be willing to put a big, big section of dark when you have this type of layering in the hair. Doing things with just breaks or just V's is not always the only way to put contrast back in. So once I've done that, I'm going to come back and right here on my part line, I'm just going to allow her natural hair to fade in with what I've created here, creating a big burst of balayage in the top, and then I won't look really stripy. I'll still look very, very light, and she will be a happy customer. Stay tuned for more tips, tips and tricks with Candy Shaw.